Welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets and today is Sunday. So we are doing our weekly cash unstuffing, our weekly check-in and our weekly budget with me for the coming week. Um, and we will also do our roundup challenge as well. Now, before I start, I just thought I would quickly... Um, I don't mean to bang on about advent calendars, but just a reminder that the Christmas advent calendars will be going up for sale um, on Wednesday night, which is the 25th at 7 p.m. They will hit the store. Um, now, I did find this week just gone um, that I relisted some products at 7 p.m. And there was quite a delay. Like, so please don't worry if you log in and they're not there right on seven. It's just that Etsy is taking a little while to load. It's really strange because it will give me the link immediately, which I can then share on Instagram. And if you follow the link, it's there. Um, it just doesn't show up in my shop if you just like search for my shop on Etsy, if that makes sense. So if you're just browsing my whole store, they won't appear. Um, but they'll be there. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to try and do it so that it's just one listing and then you can just choose. There'll just be a drop down box for the regular advent calendar, the deluxe version, or if you want both. And then there'll be a second drop down box for whether or not you want dice. So I was going to say, please read the description. <laughs> um, to determine whether or not you want dice, but I know that for some of you it's really, really nerve wracking and you don't feel like you have time to read the description. Now, I don't know whether or not the advent calendars are going to sell out. I'm gonna list as many as I can. So in all likelihood, they won't, um, but I don't want anyone, I don't want anyone to miss out because they're reading the description and other people haven't. I don't know if that makes sense. So if you're confident with your purchase, you don't feel like you need to read the description and you just want to get in there and get it, I thought I would just let you know what dice you will need so that you know that ahead of time so you don't have to go through the description to work out whether or not you want to order the dice with it. So the dice that you will need for the just regular advent calendar is just a standard six-sided die, a paper, scissors, rock dice, and a color dot dice okay those are going to be they're going to cover off everything that you need for that thing anything else that you need if i'm doing any flip token challenges or anything like that they will just come with that i'm just going to assume you don't have it and they'll come with it because they'll be customized um like there'll be ones that i create from scratch so that is all you need those three if you are getting just the cheaper version just the regular advent calendar if you are getting the deluxe version, you will need the paper, scissors, rock dice, the color dot dice, and you will also need the full set of, um, I don't know, what do you call these guys? Like D&D &D dice, I suppose. Um, so I believe it comes in a set of seven. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, that one goes there. Um, so you've got like the one to four dice, which is like the three sided triangle dice. You've got a normal six sided dice, an eight sided dice, the 10 sided dice, 12 sided dice, 20 sided dice, and then this funky one that goes up in tens. Okay. So if you are getting the deluxe one and you want to be able to play all of the games in there, you will need this, these dice, these die. I never know. <laughs> Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I'm never, I can never remember which one's the plural. Um, you all know what I mean. So if you don't have those, please like click on the add on for the dice. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if otherwise I can sell them myself separately later, which I may well do. Um, but I mean, look, you can get these on Etsy separately. You can get these from, you know, eBay or other places as well. Um, but if you want them all to come, so it's all ready to go with your um, advent calendar, those are the ones that you need. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm so excited, you guys. I've started, I've started the designs for the challenges and I have decided that I am going to hand draw a lot of them. Um, so a lot of the challenges or maybe even most of the challenges um, will be like any of the drawings on there or anything will absolutely be completely exclusive to Budgie Budgets because I will have drawn them from scratch, which is super exciting. Very, very time consuming, but it is really fun. So 
Hey guys, it's Editing Freya here. I just completely forgot to mention the international postage prices for the advent calendars. So I'm just popping it on the screen here. This is obviously in Aussie dollars, so you will need to convert it to get a price, but Etsy will do that for you, obviously. Um, so for New Zealand, it will be $25.75. For the UK and Ireland, it will be $47.10. For the USA and Canada, it will be $41.15. Okay, let's get back to it. That's all on that. Um, if you have any questions, just, yeah, ask away, ask on here, ask on Instagram, ask on Etsy. Um, and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, some of you will have noticed that on Etsy, I do have a um, automated reply now if it's outside of, like, my working hours. I mean, that makes no sense because I'm pretty much always working on Etsy. If I'm not out of the house, if I'm home, I'm probably working on Etsy orders. Um, but it's just that I was getting a little bit carried away with responding to people like <laughs> at night time um, and over the weekends, like even if we were out and about somewhere, I would be like typing responses to people, which is absolutely no one's fault other than my own. <laughs> Um, and I was just, actually, it was my husband who was like, do you know what, Freya, you need to put some boundaries down for yourself. Like the, you know, you have to have working hours, otherwise you're going to get burnt out. And you're not going to do it anymore. And he's absolutely right. So there is an automated response on there. If you contact me on the weekend or like at nighttime or very early in the morning. Um, and yeah, it's just to say, hi, I've got your message and I will respond to you when I am back at my computer, I'm doing my very best not to respond to people on my phone um, for Etsy, just because if I'm not able to respond on my computer, it's because I'm out um, with my kids or whatever. And um, yeah, so there you go. Okay, without further ado, it is time to do some unstuffing. So we are going to unstuff uh, a little bit from our medical binder because now... Yeah. How am I going to do this? Because I've got placeholders everywhere. Um, hubby went and got his eyes tested earlier this week and his prescription has indeed changed. So he needed to get some... Sorry, if I move my fingers funny, it's because my nail polish is still a little bit tacky and my nails are currently in rehab. Okay, they've just... I can't seem to get the stick-on nails to stay on at the moment. I think my nails have just had enough. So we're just being lovely to them and giving them some time to settle down. Anyway, um, so Hubby's prescription has changed, so he had to get some new glasses, um, and it was about, I think it was $255 all up, or $260, I think. He got two pairs of glasses, one of them with like reflective coating and a pair of sunnies. Um, so we're taking $40 out of optical, $50 out of specialist. Um, I'm just going to pinch the $10 from orthodontics as well, just because, you know, it's a lonely $10. Um, and then we are taking uh, $60 out of this one as well. So I'm just going to pinch the 100 and I'm going to put back $40 like that. Um, there we go. Beautiful. So that is all for that. And then we will cover what's left. And there's another $100 that I need to cover in today's budget, just because I didn't want to unstuff any more out of um, like our other medical things if I didn't need to. Um, so I'll cash flow it instead. From school, hmm, this is a pickle because I need to take, what do I need to take out of here? I need to take $60 out of here and I'm not going to have any change, am I? No, I'm not. Oh no, I am. Hold on. Let's just hit pause on that for a moment because I also need to take $40 out of family fun. And that was from 5, 10, 20, 30, and 40. So we'll just take those. Um, that was from going to the movies last weekend for my son's birthday. Um, so we went to the movies and we got some food um, and I did cash flow part of it but also I need a bit extra. Okay, so we're taking 60 out of here. So I'm gonna take that 100 out and we're gonna put 40 back into here too. So 10, 20, 30, and 40. Oh, that worked out well. That was lucky. Okay, so this now has 10, 20, 30, 40, and $50 left in there. Um, I can't even actually remember, what did we spend from school? 
Uh, I got my daughter a little footy jumper because they had footy colors dress up day in the last day of school and she didn't have anything to wear. Um, and I class that as a school expense because she's really, it's not clothes. She's not going to wear it probably any other time. We're not mad football supporters in our house. So um, that was fine. And oh, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember what else. Oh, my daughter went on excursion. I gave her money for lunch and stuff. Um, so we have unstuffed a total of 100, 200, 250, 260 dollars this week. Um, so I mean, not too bad, not great, but not too bad. Um, let us do while we are here our roundup challenge. Um, so this week we had. Four, it was a big one this week, four ninety seven in Roundup in our account. So I will speed this up for you. Okay, so we're making good progress in that one. There's about forty dollars in there already, which is lovely. So when this is done, I will be using it to top up our um, account buffer again, because I want that back at, there's a $300 now, I want that back at $500. So I'm going to do that by that and probably a, um, savings challenge as well to get that back up as quickly as I can. Um, okay. So that is all of that. And then it is time for our weekly check-in. How do you think we went on groceries this week, guys? <laughs> Yeah, I was actually checking though, and over the last few months, we've actually not spent more than I budgeted for the month. So I think it is just that it's more than anything that we're out of sync a little bit with um, our pay cycle is what has happened, which has just been a gradual process, obviously. So um, I will fix that up over the coming weeks as much as I can. So we started with 118 and 85. I don't know what happened to those ones then. Um, we didn't add anything last week. We did spend $308.62. So we are in the negative 196.77. But I mean, look, it's not as bad as last fortnight. We have improved a little bit. Um, I do think also we're going to renew our Costco membership. Um, because I do think we were saving money at Costco. Um, so when I look at our, our grocery budget before our membership ended and now it has definitely gone up now, I mean, part of that is because supermarket prices are also going up. So I don't know, on the one hand it swings and roundabouts, but I think it's worth a try, especially just for it's bulk stuff for the kids, mainly like nuts and snacks and things for school. Um, like yeah, packets of chips for school, stuff like that. And I do buy bigger packets of chips from, from Woolies when I do our shop rather than little packets because it works out so much cheaper. But I find the problem is, is that when I compare them, I go, oh, okay, that's literally that many lunches worth. And then it never is because when I pour them in to my eye, <laughs> like I give them a lot more if I'm pouring it out of a big packet of chips than what is in a little packet of chips. So it never goes as far. Um, so I'm not actually convinced that's as money saving, <laughs> like it would be if I wanted to get out the kitchen scales and <laughs> measure them and things like that, but I'm not really up for that first thing in the morning when I'm making lunches. Um, so takeaway started with nothing. We added 60, we spent 54.59, which left us with $5.41, which is incredibly rare. We almost never have money left over in takeaway. Um, petrol, we didn't add, uh, sorry, we started with nothing. We added 78. I spent 86 cause I just, I didn't want to stop it. I knew it was close to being full. So, um, so we're just $8 over on that, which we'll cover this week. Uh, chemist had 10, we added 10. I haven't spent anything. So we've got 20 sitting in there, which is nice. So that is our check-in for the week. And we will go into what our budget looks like for the week. So this is a little, <laughs> um, this is a little tweak on my, I'm not, I don't like that these colors are different. It needs more tweaking. Um, but this will be the vibe for the gingham version of the planner. I don't know what I'm going to do with the planner now. I'm not sure that I'm going to have time to get it done by the end of this year. I think what I will try and do is have a digital version. And what I will do for myself is just a sec is punch a, so this is, this measures seven by nine. Let me just check that you can see it all too. 
Oh yeah, easily. I might zoom in a sec. Um, so this is seven by nine. What this is, is a, um, whoops, too far. This is a happy planner, seven by nine classic happy planner that I happen to have from quite some time ago. Um, I'm not a big fan of how they lay out their um, budgeting planners, but I do love their covers and their um, dividers and things. But what I might do is do my own spin on a laminate cover, just exactly like this, um, and punch it for discs. So then maybe in my store, if it's not gonna to be too much work for me, I can offer it as a digital file or I can offer it as a disc bound planner. I just don't think, um, I have decided that I am gonna try and go back to uni. So I will have until census date to decide whether or not that's a terrible decision. <laughs> but it does start back next week. And I just, um, I looked at my husband last night and I was like, I don't think I can do all the things that I wanna do. And he's like, you think? <laughs> I was like, I think maybe advent calendars and a planner and going back to uni and doing normal envelope orders and stuff might be a little bit too much for me. And he was like, um, yes, like you've taken what was going to be a cute little hobby side hustle and turned it quite literally into a full-time job, um, for which like I'm taking out less than minimum wage at this point. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's all good um so I will keep working on this in the background when I've got whoops when I've got time and maybe by the end of the year I'll be able to have like a digital file up and maybe I'll be able to do some kind of physical offering but I'm not certain and I don't want to make promises that I can't deliver on so I will do my best um certainly I will pop up some digital files that you can just buy and then download at will. Um, Cause obviously then once you've got the file, you can just print it over and over and over again. Um, it will just be probably just the one color though. I won't do the, I will save that for when I do have time to a physical planner, probably sometime next year, hopefully. Okay, I will stop waffling. Guys, it is our big, big chunky income week. So we have our regular income, which is, um, this is hubby's wage and also child support payments. So for this week, we have $3,748. And then I also took a little bit of money out of Etsy. Not terribly much because pretty much everything has been spent on more supplies. And spoiler alert, I did also buy some sneaky savings challenges. Because <laughs> uh, I have plans, you guys. Um, but you will see about that soon enough. Okay, so we are working with $4,018, which feels very nice, let's be honest. So rent is getting $895, and that finishes off what we owe rent for this month. Our internet is getting $100, but I'm actually hopeful that our bill will come in for less than that because of how long we were without internet for when the NBN stuffed up. Um, so hopefully that will actually be cheaper than that, but I, I definitely need to chase them up on that to make sure. Um, our home insurance is getting $49. Our health insurance is getting $264. Um, Apple care is getting, am I going to fit all this in actually? One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh. Um, so I might double these up. So Apple is getting 21. Six dollars of that is for the insurance for my daughter's iPad. 15 for that is for Apple iCloud. Uh, then we have got uh, Xbox, which is my husband's subscription for $19. Spotify, which is our family membership for 24 Netflix which is for all of us is 19 and then YouTube which is my subscription so that I can watch all of you lovelies ad free it's incredible I'm obsessed with it um, for $17 I love it because I can watch I can watch without watching the ads but also I'm still supporting your channel because when you pay premium you automatically uh, I, my understanding of it is that it's as if you have watched the ads for that video. So, um, that makes me feel happies. 
Uh, so that is a total of $1,408, which leaves us with $2,610. So groceries, ugh, is getting $820 for the fortnight. And let's see if we can kind of sneak within that. <laughs> Try and stay within that bounds. Takeaway is getting $100. Petrol is getting $10 to cover that $8 that we overspent. Um, again, I hope I've got enough room here, actually. Um, what's next? East uh, Tolls, which is East Link for us, is getting 40. Um, and then Mikey is getting eight, which is our public transport system. I just give it $8 a month to round off um, what I've got. And that's usually enough for whenever hubby and my oldest daughter need to use it. Um, which is just occasionally. Uh, chemist is getting 20. That's getting a nice little boost. Um, dog food and, um, dog food and like their bones is getting 180. I'm trying them on a new chew, like a new dental chew for their teeth, which seems to be working really well, but it is a little bit more expensive than the ones we we're using before, which kind of sort of sucks a little bit. Um, spending for hubby and I is getting 60. Is that right? Yes. And then other spending, this covers, I'm just going to write them all in here because I'm not going to fit. So this covers hubby's glasses is getting a hundred. Um, my son's B day spending is also getting a hundred and then there's $68 going for some clothes that I purchased. You guys, if you have not checked out Kmart for clothes, have a little look. Cause I mean, there's a lot of stuff that isn't that flash, but there are a few choice pieces in there this season that are just really, really nice. Like really, really nice. And they're just not, they're just so not expensive compared to other places. Um, okay, shmokey. So that leaves us with 1,000. Uh, sorry, that totals one thousand five hundred and six, which leaves us with one thousand one hundred and four dollars. Um, so my little kinderins are getting their pocket money, and they are getting a total of ninety four between them. So this has increased because um, I'm giving the older two five dollars a week for canteen now, or if that's what they want to spend it on, they don't have to; they can save it. Um, and I gave my youngest an extra $4, um, this month cause I was just rounding out the budget basically. <laughs> um, so that's them. Cash envelopes is getting a whopping $700. Love it. Um, the crystal binder is getting its own $50 allocation this week. Mini Mondays is getting a mini boost at $40 this week. And Savings Challenges, I should probably put this down here, but anyway, is getting $60. Um, so our total for sinking funds slash cash savings is $850. And that should, no, it's not $850. It's $850 plus $94, isn't it? Totally is. One moment. Um, have I done that wrong? Yeah, I did. So it's, what is it? 850 plus 94, so 944, is that right? I think so, I think that's right. So we should have 160 left over. <laughs> and that is going to our MasterCard. So that's the minimum repayment for that. That one is an interest free debt that we still owe. So that is our zero based budget for this week. So it's a nice chunky one. Our paychecks are not usually this chunky. Um, it always feels really substantial when a child support payment falls in the same week as my husband's paycheck. And it's been really, really nice to pinch a little bit of money out of Etsy. I will also be taking money out for uh, the debt binder too. 
that is all for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, I would really genuinely appreciate you clicking that subscribe button. When we get to 750, I will add some more freebies to my little Google freebie drive down below. Um, but yeah, that's all for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Mini Mondays. Woohoo! Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.